On Monday, December 5th, 40 days after the Yankees began their search for a new manager, it was found in a familiar face. Aaron Boone was announced as the 33rd skipper in Yankees history. For the first time, he sits down with Yankees on demand. Take me through the phone call when you were told you were the Yankees manager. <sighs> what a what a amazing moment. Um, I was actually getting home from picking up my daughter from, from school and uh, was actually pulling into the driveway and you know having four kids, crazy schedules after school, you know, different sports, dance, they're off, so I was switching with my wife and uh, she knew I was on the phone with an important call and um, we didn't really have time to embrace or celebrate or anything because she was kind of out the door, but I was like, I got it, we kind of knuckles. <laughs> and uh, it, was, it was an amazing moment to hear uh, Cash on the other end saying, I'm the guy that they want to move forward with. And uh, I was pretty overwhelmed, pretty excited, um, but really in pretty short order, kind of got into mode like, all right, let's go and start attacking this job now. You've been around the big league since you were a kid. Yeah. In the last eight years as a broadcaster. Yeah. Why did managing start to seriously appeal to you? You know, I think in a way, look, I'm a, I'm a baseball junkie. I love the game. You know, I tell people all the time, you know, I like to think I'm well-rounded, but in the end, baseball is what I know. Baseball is what I've lived. So it, it's been tugging at me a little bit the last couple of years. This year I was pretty serious on maybe making the transition, you know, and then all of a sudden Cash called with the opportunity to interview here. And, you know, obviously this is a chance of a lifetime and a dream job to try and have. And um, so I was all in and I'm, I'm just excited, the competitive side that you don't necessarily get, you know, working in my job before with ESPN, that you know, trying to put together something great to try and ultimately win a championship. During this process, people were quick to point out that you've never done anything like this before. Why does the inexperience as a manager or even a coach, why do you think that's a non-issue for you? Well, look, I think experience certainly matters and certainly can be an asset. And hopefully as I gain experience, I'll continue to get better at the job. Um, but I would also say, you know, in a lot of ways, I feel like I've been preparing this my whole life. I grew up, you know, much like I, I think of it in terms of, you know, that kid that grows up with his dad's a high school or a college football coach, you know, where he just grows up living the game. That's all I know. And I've, I've lived it. I've looked at it through a player's lens. I've looked at it through a manager's eyes. You know, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of things that are I need to learn on the fly that probably initially are going to be a little overwhelming and I'll be green at, but again, I feel like I've been prepared for this moment my whole life. Let's talk about the team that you're taking over. When you saw the Yankees play in 2017, what intrigued you about their players? Wow. You know, I think one thing that really stands out is just how much fun these guys have. And, and I want to continue to urge them to have fun doing what they're doing. Obviously, we have great talent. Obviously, we have a great young nucleus in place here. We have another wave of players coming that, you know, some may impact the big league club this year. So we're in a really good place from an organizational standpoint as far as, I think, set up from a talent standpoint to win on the long term. But I just really enjoy the passion and the fun that these guys have out on the field. And that's something that I hope we continue to see with the New York Yankees. A lot of Yankee fans know you had a big hit in the postseason yeah. for this franchise. What has it meant to you to have that Yankee pedigree for these years? Yeah, you know, it's something that over the last five, ten years, especially as I've been out of the game, it's something that I have a real appreciation for. You know, I'm always amazed when I'm traveling in airports, at restaurants, whatever, you know, how many people know me for that moment. And, and as I was a player, I used to try and distance myself from it. But I've, I've come to embrace it just because I love sports moments. I love sports. And to hear the amount of intimate stories I've heard over the years, whatever side of the ledger, whether you, you know, hated the Yankees, whether you loved the Yankees, there's so many 
I remember exactly where I was, what I was doing, what I did right after the fact. And I've really learned to appreciate that and, and love the stories that I've heard from people in that regard. What can we expect from the 2018 Yankees under the leadership of Aaron Boone? Well, hopefully we'll continue to see them grow as players. You know, spring training will be um, a strong emphasis on, on detail, on I hope that we are fundamentally incredibly strong and really good at the routine because I feel like if we can do those little things and, and gain advantages on the margins, that will allow our talent to flourish and then speak for itself. When we're doing the routine and the, and the fundamental things very well, it should allow our talent to blossom.